Hello, I want to show you today how to create a custom exercise on musictheory.net that you could send to your students, they could complete it digitally, and how to make a low-tech version paper copy of an exercise in a similar way. So you go to musictheory.net, um, not .com, .net, musictheory.net, click on exercises, and then scroll all the way to the bottom to the exercise customizer. So you can see there's lots of options here. Right now, I'm gonna show you an example of note identification. It will let you decide what clef, and you can see all the choices. Select a range. So I always select a range that would be whatever their instrument could play or what notes they would know on their instrument already. Lots of options here for my choir peeps. You can turn accidentals on or off. I'm gonna turn them off for now. Uh, the helpers will just give them a little bit of a hint so you can decide whether or not you want that. With the low-tech version, you, the helpers aren't really applicable. And then I do want this to be a challenge and since I'm gonna use this as a low-tech option also, I'm gonna do a 10 question deal. If they do it online, they can do multiple attempts. I do like to turn this one on because if they get it wrong, they have another shot at trying to get it correct. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so going back to it, at the bottom here, this exercise is permanently available at this link. Pretty cool. So um, I've got all my things set and I'm gonna to go to it right now. Okay, so I'm in challenge mode. This is what it would look like for your students and you could just share this link with them. So I'm gonna start my challenge and I'm going to take a screenshot of each question. So if you don't know how to take a screenshot, just Google it and it will tell you how to do it. I have to Google it a lot. So I'm using a Mac right now and I'm just gonna do not the whole screen, I just want part of the screen. So on a Mac, it's Command Shift 4. And I'm just going to select all of these. Now I've got my screenshot saved. I'm actually going to drag this into a Google slide. So I took my little snip. You could also use snipping tool if you have that on your computer. And I'm going to drag it in here. And I'm just going to make, um, I can resize it in here if I want to. And I'm going to put instructions up at the top. Circle the correct answer. Easy. Okay, now my kids who can't get online have access to do this work. And then um, if I go through this whole quiz here, I would do it on each one. I'd do another screenshot, put it in here, maybe fit two or three on a page and then copy it front and back. Okay. I want to show you what it looks like when they finish so you can tell them what to do. There's only 10 questions, right? Okay, we're getting close. See, I've got my score up here. Okay, excellent, I got this. So you could have them screenshot this and turn that in or click on view report. They have to sign their report. So I just have them put their first name, last initial. Or whatever, they can put their whole name. I put Marianne C because that's my maiden name and that used to be my first name and last initial. Okay, signing my report. Now they have this code and you have them copy and paste it. And that's what they would turn into you on whatever platform you're using, they could email it into you um, and do that. Okay, did I copy it? Copy my code. Okay, now, as a teacher, go back in. I'm on exercises. I scroll all the way down, go to code checker. I'm gonna enter my verification code. And now I can see Marianne C got 100 spent this much time on it, 
pretty cool. So that's how you can check your students. And then for the low tech version, of course, you can just make yourself a key and do it that way. All right, hope this helps.